हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू अनदर ब्लॉग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू द कार विच ब्रोक एवरी रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द इंडियन ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री या बिफोर किया सेल्टॉस मेड अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ बुकिंग ऑफ नाइन थाउजेंड व्हीकल्स इन ट्वेल्व डेज या जस्ट इन ट्वेल्व डेज बट महिंद्रा था डेट इट इन जस्ट फोर डेज या नाइन थाउजेंड कार बुक्स इन जस्ट फोर डेज मीन्स टू कार्स एवरी मिनट so before going any further don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to the channel and turn the bell notification on to get notified when a new video comes live so if we talk about the design of the car firstly this car's design is inspired from the jeep wrangler rubicon yeah you can easily mistake this car for a jeep wrangler and if we come a bit close the grill is now whole new and it gets a jail sort of treatment and it doesn't look that good in the pictures and even in personal also and over here now it has become all fiber with a thar branding on it to maintain the all new safety norms and over here gets a led drl with a indicator and a fog lamp too and the all the lights are in this car are halogen except the drl yeah and it gets different colors in the bumpers one gray and other finish in black and over here it gets a side cladding all around with a indicator above the front wheel as well and these wheels are all terrain tires these are 255 60 18 inch tires and over here it also gets a thar branding which is a plastic one but the whole wheel is alloy and this wheel looks very gorgeous and if see the from side the car is a sub four meter and it's a three door version only and Thar comes with only a three door version over here it also gets Thar branding and these are traditional sockets are still present over there to give it that retro charm and the mirrors are finished in black with the Thar naming again there and this is the fortress which is also a plastic only so if we talk about this door handle it is not finished in the body color and it's a plastic cheap one and let me show you the key of the car it doesn't get push button start and also doesn't get key let's go this is the flip key which is better than that of the tuv as such and if we come to the side of the car as you can see the body cladding has came to the rear wheels also as you can see from the front wheel all the way continues to here and here it says 4x4 four four. and this is the hard top variant it also comes with a soft top as well as a convertible top variant and if we come to the back of the car as you can notice that the spare wheel is mounted on the boot lid of the car and if we see the lights the brake lights are in led but the indicator and the reverse are still bulbs and it also mentions tha over here and the lights looks very good at indeed and it also gets a reflector at the bottom and shockingly the number plate lights are led and on the spare wheel also says tha and it also gets a high mount stop lamp in it let me show it to you in some detail and it also said gets automatic badging at back and if we open the boot of the car it opens in sideways and it doesn't get nothing much as such and we can even open the upper glass as you can see and with the last row folded there is a decent amount of space to store your luggage and it also gets a roll cage which is standard which is a very nice touch and if we fold the seat up then there is not, not much space left in the boot yeah it's not that practical indeed after all the seats up but that's okay and it also gets a high mount stop lamp at here and there are many exposed wirings and it also get defogger at back which is very nice but exposed wiring they would have done it much better and if we see over here the fuel lid is that traditional one only you have to put the key to open it and it doesn't get any lever inside to open the boot lid and at the top as you can see this is all plastic material yeah the hard top is all plastic material but it is of very good quality so let's get inside of the car and you will notice that the cabin is full black and to go to the rear seat you have to press a button over here to tumble the front seat and it's quite easy and there is decent amount of space to get at to the back so we have came to the back of the car and the seat comes back to its position from the same button and to let the seat back you have to do it from front only it is not possible from that button and this driving seat is adjusted to my driving position 
and there is decent amount of leg room under thigh th support is also good and knee room is also adequate and headroom is in excess and it also gets a window over here which is not openable but it doesn't give any claustrophobic feeling and the finishing over here is not that great as such and if they have given an armrest over there it would be nice and it also gets a three pointer seat belt at back yeah a three pointer seat belt along with handle to hold on to as well as adjustable headrest and these are the speakers and tweeters at the top and they have placed the speakers and tweeters at the top and at the back everything feels very solidly put together and very rugged as well and over here at the passenger side at front it gets this metal plate which says Mahindra and Mahindra Limited model Thar CDA number and says made in India with pride yeah this is the desi car and at the door also it says Mahindra and the door pockets are of decent size and it also gets a dummy switch at top over here and the doors have become very soft on this car in comparison to the previous car and the antenna placement it is not that good and over here it says MHawk 100 which is the engine name and 130 says that it makes 130 horsepower yeah and another Thar branding over here and over here you can see it gets two camel made with a Thar means it can go anywhere the Thar has got go anywhere capabilities as well and the color of this car looks very attractive too and will attract a lot of customers as such talk about the driver door it get that same tha badging same the passenger door and this button is to control the outside rear view mirrors and it get that traditional strap for the door even if it, it is getting a door keeper and these are the speakers of the front and it gets only two paddles because it's an automatic and it doesn't get any dead paddle as such and the doors have become very soft on this door and these are the buttons at the right side are for this instrument cluster and this is a very loaded screen indeed the fonts are not that good but the display is very bright and the steering wheel is inspired or it's from the tv 300 not inspired it's fully from the and these are the buttons for cruise control these are for this instrument cluster or the infotainment system and these are the ac vents in round and the air conditioning is very powerful in this car yeah the air conditioner in this car is awesome and these all buttons are dummy except the hazard light switch yeah and it is feel very nice and at the bottom it gets twin usb and an aux port with a volt charging socket yeah twin usb which is a very nice touch and this is for the four wheel drive system two high four high four low and neutral and the, that is also finished in leather which is very nice and this is the regular gear selector knob and over you, are, you it also says you are in which gear like p n and d and let me figure out <laughs> how to put it in too high back again yeah now it's in too high it's a bit tricky to use and over here it gets twin cup holders and these are coin holders and these are the power window control it, it gets only two windows at front which are openable also gets a handle in the passenger side but not in the driver and this is the uh, inside rear view mirror and the sunshade doesn't get any mirror it gets a toll receipt holder but the passenger sunshade gets a mirror and the, this is of plastic and is of very good quality and you can open it too but it's risky and Mahindra doesn't claim that if you put it back it will be waterproof and here it says like if you are reverse then drive then manual mode also on the gearbox and the gearbox of this car is very good it is better than the XUV range of automatic gearbox too and it also get reverse assist as you can see but it doesn't come with any reverse parking camera if they would have offered a reverse parking arrow, it would be very good. It gets analog tachometer as well as the speedometer is analog. And over here, it gets a fake carbon fiber sort of finish in this car. And Mahindra says that the all the interior is waterproof. Yeah. And it also comes with some adventure statistics as in on road, it says torque, power of real time use as well as a G-force meter. And if we choose the off-road mode, it says the angle of tilt of chassis angle of 
chassis tilt and everything the direction your wheel is pointing and it also says in the instrument cluster to the tire direction it is very cool and it helps you when you are parking your car or you are in a very tight spot like in cities or if you are doing a hardcore off-roading it also comes with android auto and apple carplay yeah this car contains android auto and apple car and as you can see this is the tire pressure monitoring system and i don't know does it work properly or not in this car and this is it is giving currently a 9.5 km per liter of mileage which is acceptable for a car of this character and over here it gets some space to keep your phone and the gloves box is extremely small it can only hold the manual of this car and i have shown you these speakers before only and the sound quality of this car is brilliant yeah the speakers of this car are just brilliant and i kid you not this car gets 11 thar badges yeah this car gets 11 thar badges mahindra has just gone ahead in putting some badges on this car and you can never mistake this car for any other than thar and if we come to a bit of technicalities now it gets an approach angle of 42 degrees the departure angle is of 37 degrees and the ramp over angle is of 27 degrees and now it gets a whole new chassis with a proper suspension before it used to get the leaf springs but now it gets proper suspension at the back also and the water wading capacity has increased by 100 mm from its predecessor and now it's 650 mm which is more than adequate to do any hardcore off-roading as such so if we put a look on the pricing of this car this is a top of the line lx variant which is with the hard top and the diesel automatic and this cost rupees 15.47 lakhs on road rapper chhattisgarh yeah. the cost of this car is 15.47 lakhs which is very attractively priced and there are many people out there here to have a look at this price point and many people are going to buy this car and this will make a great success in the indian car market but it also comes with a soft top yeah a soft top of this car is also available and the price difference is not very much there is only a 15 or to 20 thousand price difference between the soft top and the hard top and the convertible top is this one yeah this is the photo of the convertible top of the car that it is not that practical as such most practical is the hard top one but yeah if someone wants much adventure then they can have a look and here is the button to open the hood of the car so let's get to the hood of the car and over here it also gets some of the hinges which is our for only show it doesn't hold it the hood to the place it has to be open from inside only and the hood is on the very heavier side yeah the hood is very heavy and this is the four cylinder m hawk engine 130 horsepower which gives out 130 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque and this is a 2.2 liter v unit which is also used in the mahindra scorpio as well as the tuv 300 plus and now it doesn't rest on the body it get this uh, hook from which you can rest it on that steel metal and let me close it and it is quite easy to close you just push it down and it closes but there's a bit of the problem only led this car get are these drls if it would get an all led lights it would be a very nice touch so for the instance let me give you a full walk around of this car and you can have a look at the car from every angle And if we talk about the convertible top, you can open the back of the car, which is a fiber only. But if you want to open the front and you put it back, then Mahindra doesn't give you that uh, assurance that if you put that front top back, it would be waterproof. Yeah, it wouldn't be waterproof then. It can have water leakage over there. So guys, this was Shubhadi Banerjee reviewing the 2020 BSS compliant Mahindra Tha. So let's see you guys in another video, but don't forget to hit that like button until then bye bye and have a nice day.